this this whole reveal thing is not it's like huh. hey everyone it's lisa and welcome back to our gray house today i'm going to be showing you how to make some more neutral christmas decor this time it's going to be using paper bags you're going to take some paper bags i'm using eight today to see how it works this is the first time i'm doing it so we'll see but then you're going to run a bead of hot glue across the top and then down in a t like making it like a t i doesn't say a t motion but a t in a t Maybe then you just period in a T, period. Anyway, and then you're gonna lay the next one on top and glue again. And you're gonna be keeping this flappy side down. That That's the official term, the flappy side. And I'm gluing just right on the seam. I don't know how much glue is too much, so we'll probably find out. Then I'm gonna lay this on top, trying not to burn myself, because the paper bags are not that thick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then glue another one on. One tutorial that I saw, she just glued like three together at a time, then she cut, and then she glued the rest of them on there, and then she's cut the rest of them. So I'm gonna glue about half, so four of them on. She only used seven though. I don't know why. She didn't say why she only used seven. I may be making a mistake using eight, but we're gonna try. I got these paper bags. At the Dollar Tree, you can get 40 for $1. So if I say that this is a budget-friendly craft, I mean it. It is super budget-friendly. And the glue is hot. Okay, so one more before I start the initial cut. I have the four bags glued together. Now I'm just gonna cut it a simple shape and I'm gonna kind of do it. She did it curved, I like that, so I'm gonna try it. See how that looks. Kind of looks the same. And then I'm just gonna notch, put two notches here just to kind of get us going. Maybe on the next one I make, and you can make these out of like white paper bags. So I checked at Dollar Tree, I couldn't find any white paper bags at Dollar Tree, so didn't get any of those. But you know what? I really didn't look in the gift bag section that hard though. Hmm, maybe when I go back, I'll look there. Didn't cut this one all the way through. So if you know if they sell it or not, let me know because that would be fantastic. I just think I saw her do, and I'll link, it's to her Instagram, but I'll link her Instagram below, but it just looked really cool. It was a nice neutral decor and I was really digging it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I thought I'd try it for myself to see if I, I could do it and then share with you guys. So again, yeah, I don't, I've glue, I'm gluing it on here, right? But the bottom part is already cut, but that's okay, because that's gonna be my guide for in a moment when I, um, when I go to cut again. But I'm just gluing in the T shape and adding more of these paper bags on top. Trying to keep them lined up. Pressing down. Other than the fact that the glue is hot, it's it's not, I mean, this doesn't seem like a really hard craft at all, to be honest, and it's taking just minutes to put together. So that's even better. So this could be like a last minute thing if you wanna add a little decor to your house. 
And then just think of all the different size bags you could get. And you can even get like colored bags that, not just for Christmas, like for a birthday party or something, you could do colored bags. That would be cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm just gonna cut where I've cut the other bags and hope it turns out. The reason that she said that she did a few bags at a time is because she found it a little more difficult to cut the bags uh, when it was a big stack of bags. So, you know, I don't know about that, but we'll see. This almost looks like an arrowhead shape. And again, I didn't cut all the way through, apparently. Come on, tear. Not wanting to tear it, but get off there. <laughs> cut this side. Okay, now the moment of truth. We take this. And this is supposed to be like dramatic. Oh, well, I'm not holding it very well. I did eight bags instead of this, this whole reveal thing. It's not, it's like, huh, it's supposed to be, but look, y'all, that turned out so cute. And it's, it's not even taking me, you know, like, not even 10 minutes to make this. And then you're just gonna glue these two, like you're gonna put some glue here, glue those together, and then you can hang them up. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like how this one turned out. So I'm gonna glue them together. Hope I don't mess up this part. Um, Let me glue here, because I'm used to gluing the T on this side. I wanna need another glue stick, probably. This looks so cute. I'm excited. Our granddaughter, Oakley, great granddaughter, she goes, I'm excited. I'm excited too. It's turning out great. So, I'm going to have to burn myself on this part. you know not easy to do but oh my gosh look how great that looks and then if you get smaller bags you could do smaller sizes y'all this turned out really great and I did eight bags instead of she did seven on hers but I think the eight bags is fine I don't think it I think it looks just fine probably have to kind of you know zhuzh it up just a little bit but you can hang this from the ceiling, just like as something dangling from the ceiling. You could put it on the wall. Yeah, you could do all kinds of things with it. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this super quick craft. I hope you liked it. And if you could, um, tag me if you try it, because I just, I would love to see what you guys create as well. So if you want to follow me here on, on YouTube or on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though because that's creepy. Bye. And that's how it turned out.